Hello and welcome once again. I'm going to do a brief video here on meats. I do get quite a few people that always ask me what meats can I eat. The answer is zero. Okay? I'm going to be very firm and very blunt on this. There is no meat that is good for you. I repeat, there is no meat. I know this is just about red meat, what I'm going to show you. Just giving you a brief intro. Um, fish is definitely better for you, but you cannot eat this every day. It's for B12 only. DHA and EPA, which is good for brain function. Beef is not good for any function, okay? It makes you tired, causes disease. There was a study in India where they thought meat would help with cancer, and it made it far worse when, when people were on a meat diet, okay? All the people on the paleo, they're all going to be sick, trust me. They will eventually go to the medical community. They're going to find out they have cancer. They're going to give them chemo, and they're going to die. Okay? And, and I hate to be blunt, but this is what's happening. All right? There's people dying all over. My relatives are pretty much all, you know, vanished. I'm sure you know a lot of people that are sick. It's because, number one, of the chemicals in the foods, the meats, and people are not eating enough living foods, which I have videos on that as well. Pretty much all people should be eating except for a small amount of cooked food. Um, but at this point, let's go over this article about, uh, about meats. And they're going to show a beautiful picture here of beef. And they're just, you know, showing all this nice dead flesh that's going to make you dead. Okay? Think about this. Dead flesh, you're dead. Okay? Fish, on the other hand, is healthier. But that doesn't mean you eat it every day. Once, twice, small amounts, maybe even three times a week if you're really, you know, healthy and you're not trying to get rid of a lot of diseases. But if you're trying to get rid of a lot of diseases, we're finding that... Even fish, which is the high end of the spectrum, um, which they're going to tell you here. Um, diets that are linked to good heart health are lower in foods like red meat and include more pulses, nuts, seeds, and, and fish as protein sources. I also want to highlight on this word they're talking about, which always confuses people, protein sources. Proteins in pretty much everything, folks. So whether you're this senior dietitian knows this, I'm telling you, okay? I, I've been studying this and doing a lot of things on my own as well as there's people all over the world that have done things I've told them and, and gotten well quicker and now I'm always advancing and adding more and I'm here to tell you that protein is misled people are getting too much I, I know you think you want to be a bodybuilder and you need 200 grams of protein you're killing yourself you're eating the wrong foods you're going to be in an early grave. I hate to break it to you. I've done it. So I'm telling you firsthand, it doesn't help you. If you want to destroy your body, you will. If your goal is to be healthy, do not do that. Protein comes from many, many different foods in nature. It's impossible to be protein deficient, especially if you're having goji berries, which has all the complete amino acids, as well as hemp seeds, as well as even eating broccoli, but it's not a complete amino acid source. There's always one missing. However, it, it's still protein. All right, and if you, you have the powders that I'm talking that I talk about in many of my videos, these will give you all your amino acids. That's what we need. Think of a rhinoceros. They eat greens. They're huge. Rhinoceros will pretty much crush up just about anything. All they eat is plants. All right. So think of the rhinoceros again. It, you know, don't think of you know the bodybuilder that has you know muscles that aren't even really that strong. It's all water retention, and that's just how it is. All right. Some people may have very solid muscles, but you're going to get even more when you put in the right food. So let's look at this. New research shows that consuming beef, bacon, and lamb can trigger a chemical reaction, and which leads to the hardening and narrowing of the arteries. And I hate to break it to you, this is going to mean chicken. This means anything. It's not just these meats. All right, so you need to avoid them all. Um, fish again, small amounts, four ounces. You're gonna get B12 and DHA and EPA. This doesn't come from beef and chicken, anyways. All right, this is what you need. If you can't eat seafood, I, I'm not a fan of supplements. I don't know how you're gonna get your B12. Uh, there is there is no other way to get it. And I'm really against dairy at this point. Raw milk for 30 days um, to help give that good bacteria and help people with some uh, gut issues, but you got to cut it out after that. It's going to create too much mucus. You're never going to be able to detox. All right. So now, of course, this article is biased. They're telling you scientists now hope their findings will help create treatments to block the process 
and prevent the, the, the killer heart condition and allow people to include red meat in their diet. It doesn't matter even if they do that. You don't want the drugs, number one, toxicity. Number two, you're eating dead flesh. This is not going to help your body and this is not going to help you be healthy and you're going to get cancer. I repeat, you're going to get cancer. For all those people that want to be ignorant, um, they're narcissistic and they think, oh my gosh, the medical community never lie to me. Oh my gosh, they gave my family chemo. They let her live a few more months. Look, listen, I hate to be blunt. Get off this stuff. It's not going to help you. You'll feel better. Your meats make you weak. In the beginning, your body has to detox and get all this acidity out. Okay? It's not going to help you. All right. So let's, let's look at this. Now they're going to explain here that uh, wireless is in the future. The, the present studies may help us develop an uh, intervention that allows one to have their steak and eat it too with less concern for developing heart disease. And I just told you this. This is, you know, again, nonsense. It's not what's going to happen. And, you know, you don't need these meats to begin with. And then the saying, regularly tucking into sausage, bacon, ready meals, and pies increases the chances of developing heart disease and cancer and sends the risk of dying soaring by 44%. So look at that again. It's the only reason I'm showing you this article. Regularly tucking into sausage, sausages, bacon, ready meals, and pies increases the chances of, de of developing heart disease and cancer and sends the risk of dying soaring by 44%. Very simple. Don't eat processed foods. Don't eat processed meats. Don't eat meat at all. You won't have to worry about this. Eat raw living foods, fruits and vegetables. If you're trying to get rid of other diseases that have parasites, um, yeast, fungi, you can add the oregano oil. These are antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial. This has amazing properties in ancient times. It, it's it, In ancient times, they didn't eat this garbage. You know, I have news for you. They didn't. All right? There is times where people were living well over 100 years old. They weren't eating this. People that ate meat in the very early stages of man lived in the bee in the early 20s. If that's all you want to live and you want to eat a meat diet, a raw meat diet, go ahead. You're not going to live very long. All right. So I think this hopefully will let people know what's going on. And, yeah, I don't want to keep this video too long. No meats. And I'm also going to explain in this video, because I'm going to explain in other videos, on top of this, because a lot of people like to use these and you shouldn't be cooking a lot of food anyways. However, no canola oil, no soy, no um, rapeseed oil, no soybean oil. They're all in the processed foods. So why I'm showing this picture. Not only are people eating this horribly disease causing meat they're adding in foods that we we can we don't even know what they are our body doesn't I mean canola oil genetically modified once again soybean oil genetically modified soy genetically modified very high percentage not good for you anyways you want to increase estrogen levels males you want to grow boobs I, I hate to break it to you keep taking soy anything soy products soy milk it doesn't matter you don't need it we don't we don't want to be feminine we're males okay you want you want to be a male get rid of the estrogen okay you want testosterone run eat the way I'm t telling you you'll be fine women same thing you don't want too much estrogen no soy okay no oils canola oil not even olive oil I mean if you're eating a little bit of sea snacks to get your iodine and there's a pinch of olive oil in there that's fine that's nothing but people that are cooking with it drenching their food in it steaming their vegetables with the just mentioned whatever you're doing with heat don't do that to your vegetables wash them eat them blend them first to get your digestive system up and that's it this is the way health works folks I, I you know I'm trying to get people healthy so at this point going back up to this article red meat is a direct cause of heart disease experts warn I am telling you okay everyone wants to be an expert whoever this person that wrote the article or they found the information that's great let people know this however the verdict is in avoid meats avoid chicken avoid all of them they're not good for you fish in small amounts I will eat wild Alaskan salmon that's it no Atlantic salmon no other salmon that says they're wild it's all gone it's pretty much extinct except for Alaska 
more omega-3s, DHA, EPA, small amount. That's it. And you don't need it for protein. There's plenty of protein in other foods. You're not going to die from protein. I'll tell you that right now. You're going to die from a disease or you're going to die from the medical community. Protein's not going to kill you. Any questions, let me know. Thank you.